it ruined the match for me, right? I'm watching my buddy Eric Onsens play Deco Bar and James Ignatowicz. And this beta test serve rule is killing me. This is James Ignatowicz a couple weeks ago at the PPA Tour Humana Open. Is this volley serve legal with the new beta rules from the PPA Tour? I would say the palm's not facing down, it's illegal, the ball was not dropped directly. I know I'm nitpicking, but why make a rule if you're not going to stick to it, right? Let's read the rule. The new beta test only applies to professional players on the PPA Tour. The new rule states the serve must be dropped from below the waist, making it for the most part less aggressive. The ball cannot be tossed upward, only Back drop. In addition, the spot. player's paw yeah, must be point. facing towards the ground. Here's another James serve that's technically illegal, but he's not cheating, right? He thinks it's legal. I think it's pretty legal, except it's illegal according to the PPA beta rules. I watched James argue or talk to the referee for almost five to 10 minutes before the second round match yesterday. This serve would have been deemed highly illegal according to that referee who said it has to be like a bowling motion. And this beta test serve rule that makes the serve less aggressive by making you drop the ball from below your waist, you can't throw it up like the traditional volley serve and the palm has to be facing down. Why did I think this was a failure? Because players are still getting called for it. She <laughs> is, big H. Still shaking his head. <laughs> This is Anna Bright from a couple weeks ago, but my point is her palm is facing down. However, she's able to still throw the ball up, right? The palm facing down doesn't really matter, right? You could still throw a ball up with the palm facing down. Four, seven, two. Uh, not so friendly rivalry going <laughs> on, so. Here's another one and the ball goes pretty high, making the ref's job not as easy as a PPA tour would like right which was a reason for this rule because the referees have so much to do already palm facing down ball still going up these players don't know what the heck the referees want from them and i don't either but you may say joey then what's the solution well i'll say it was introduced in 2021 the usap introduced a drop serve thanks to steve parenta thank you However, the PPA never adopted the drop serve for professional pickleball players. Amateurs can still use the drop serve when they're playing in the tournament in the PPA. However, pros cannot because my producer says it actually makes sense. Thanks, Mark Napotovich. And you may say, Joey, what is the drop serve? You hold the ball as high as you can. You drop it, you can't apply downward pressure, you let it bounce, it won't go higher than your waist, right? It solves the problem. Then you could swing it in an upward motion. All the pros would be happy, the referees wouldn't have to deal with the arguments, right? Because frankly, they have enough to deal with between the score, the line calls, the foot faults. That's a line call, I know. The first serve fault in the PPA tour, you just get a warning, however, if you do it again like Wyatt Stone did at 10-7 in Game 2 when they had a chance to take it to Game 3, and I think they would have had a huge upset, but because of this rule, it didn't happen. One other thing, the PPA Tour wants to look cool, right? Does this look cool? Is bowling cool? Softball's cool, but is bowling cool? Is cornhole cool? No, this is cool. If you're interested on the best ball machine on the planet, fully programmable, I recommend the Titan. It keeps us in business, save 10% on any paddle. And let me tell you one more important thing before you go, don't forget to have a good day always. That was pretty good. Yeah, first segment, 